I'm Brad Jacobson back again and of course the month of January would end with a bang for surfers. This end of January swell brought barrels, some rippable faces, some decent sized sets and as usual some crazy closeouts. Unfortunately there was an early morning high tide which started things off slow but allowed for some open faced carbs. This tide was so high it actually flooded parts of the beach. The tide began dropping around mid-morning which helped add some kick to the waves. The South Bay region of Los Angeles is not known for its perfect shaped waves. I'd even go out on a limb and say 90% of the waves here close out. And this swell was no exception. The guys and gals that surf here regularly, like Alex Gray shown here, know how to make the most of these waves, making them look much better than they really are. There's two ways to attack these closeouts. Some just pull in and hang on. But others learn how to become escape artists. And either way, it doesn't matter because everyone was having an absolute blast. Although no one was having more fun than local charger Connor Beattie. No matter if they were charging closeouts or landing airs, Everyone was having an absolute blast with this end of January surf swell.
I see a lot of different things happening on the beach every time I'm shooting. For this swell, I noticed some on the sand traffic. Here in LA, it's not just congestion on our freeways. Local madman Ridley Kim going for a swim trunks only dip in the low 50 degree water. And one of the coolest things I've seen in a while, coast guards and lifeguards working together on drills. These guys and gals are very impressive to watch. One of my favorites is to watch a surfer's expression when they know they're going down. You'd think they want to close their mouths before slamming into the water. Luckily they don't let these wipeouts slow them down because they hop right back on the boards, head back out, charge some more. I'm Brad Jacobson. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the beach.